Let's talk about how you can become fluent in English in only seven days. Well, you can't. And any course that promises that you'll become fluent in only seven days is just trying to take your money. Here's the deal. In seven days, if you are in a fully immersive English environment, yeah, you can improve your English abilities because you'll be surrounded by the language 24-7. But if you do not continue studying English after the program, there's no way that you'll have any long lasting fluency. And if this is just an online course that's like an hour a day, you're not going to become fluent in a week. It's impossible. They are literally trying to steal your money. You cannot become fluent in a week with studying only an hour a day. That's ridiculous. Unless you're like a language savant, but that's extremely unlikely. So let's look at a few examples of these scammy courses. This first one is called Seven Days Crash Course on English Speaking. Well, for one, it should be Seven Day Crash Course, not Seven Days. So there's your first red flag. And if you want a little more explanation on why it should be Seven Day and not Seven Days, I have a video posted about that that you can check out. The next massive red flag when we look at the information about the trainer is that they are a financial engineer. So literally, this person only knows things about money. Also, again, red flag, we can see one years of experience. So grammar error. And then all of this other experience is in investment banking, venture capital, private equity. So there's more money stuff. And then 20 hours of lecture delivered on motivation and personality development. Do we see anything about English? No, we don't. And when we look at the overview of the lessons, it shows right there, one hour a day will give you immediate results. But what what kind of immediate results? And there it shows you'll increase your fluency by at least 40%. Now, possibly if you have 0% English fluency, you could have an increase that significant, but most likely not. More red flags when we look at number five under the topics covered, and it says a word on accent. What is that supposed to mean? Just one word about accents under the prerequisites, it says go through the history of English language. Does that mean that you are supposed to study the entire history of the English language? Most native English speakers don't even know the history of the English language. Why, why is that necessary? Or maybe it's another course that they are selling. Who knows? Our next WTF example is this book called Learn Spoken English in Seven Days. A proven strategy can make you an expert. So first of all, we can see on the front cover that there are grammar mistakes. It's a proven strategy can make you an expert, not can makes. Something that I also found Kind of strange is that they listed themselves as the author twice. Don't know why. I have also published on Amazon and it's easy enough to not make that mistake. There are also multiple grammar mistakes within this and also some pretty strange phrases like from scratch 0% level to 90% and then saying without writing a single letter on the paper. 
is there only one paper allowed to do any kind of writing? Pretty sure there isn't. Another strange phrase is to those that are waiting to knock opportunities, usually knock only once in their life. Utilize it in a proper way in the risk time. I can honestly say that I don't know what they are trying to convey with that sentence. And then finally, this phrase is a little bit sad. I know that it can be the case in some areas, but where they say speaking fluent English is the social status, one, that is not grammatically correct. And two, that does make me kind of sad that they are advertising this book as the only way that you can improve social status. And I do feel bad that some people feel that kind of pressure. But the next key thing to note about this, I did a little bit of digging, and the author of this book is a professor in electrical and electronic engineering. So why are they writing a book on English? There is a phrase in English where we say, stay in your own lane, meaning if you are an expert or have knowledge in a certain subject, stay there. Do not try to teach things outside of your profession or outside of your expertise. So this guy, I'm sure he's really good at engineering. Obviously, he's a professor. Maybe he should just stick to that. And finally, we have this gem right here where they promise that you can learn English in only seven days. And we can see that the total time for this course is an hour and 32 minutes. I can guarantee you will not become fluent in English in only an hour and 32 minutes. So let's look at a breakdown of a few of these classes. We can see our first one, which is probably just the introduction, is three minutes. The big important video is almost 11 minutes. And then our day one is 10. I am struggling to figure out what you can adequately get across in only a 10 minute and 39 second video. And then with a day two, I'm not sure if this translation was correct with the stop, watch, go, but this doesn't actually seem like it's a lesson. It seems like it may be a similar concept to the day five which is, if the translator was correct, just about how to memorize things. So it seems as though this course isn't really teaching anything other than general ideas for maybe some studying notes. It's not even trying to teach you English. So you're having to pay money for someone to tell you you need to memorize things to learn. So this is definitely a scam. Let's think about it this way. How long did it take you to become fluent in your native language? Was it just a week? No, it took years and years for you to get to the ability that you're at today. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to take you 20 or more years to develop your English skills. You can definitely become fluent more quickly than that, but you can't do it in just one week. It's literally impossible. These kinds of marketing tactics are very similar to ones that the weight loss industry uses. I'm sure you have seen advertisements for weight loss pills or diets that promise to help you lose 10 kilos in just seven days. We know that that's not sustainable weight loss. As soon as those seven days are over and you go back to eating like normal, all that weight is going to come back. And the only thing that you lost was your money. So how can you speed up your English learning? Well, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're in a fully immersive environment, 
that's going to be the most ideal way to improve your language long term. But that's not really doable for most people. So what you can do is try to integrate as much English into your everyday life, meaning you should try and read and listen and write and speak as much English as possible. Watch movies and shows in English with English subtitles. Listen to podcasts or audiobooks in English. Read books and news articles in English. Take English lessons with native English speakers. Just try and get in as much as possible. In my free weekly study plan, I give tons of tips for how you can just include English into all different parts of your daily routine. And if fluency really is your goal, you have to work towards it. English is not going to just magically absorb into your brain only from watching Netflix. So you will need to study some vocabulary. You will need to study some grammar. You will need to take some classes with an English teacher that can provide you with corrections to help you improve your English speaking. Anything worth having is worth working for. So if English fluency is really, really a huge goal in your life, then you really, really need to make it more of a priority and start actively practicing it more and more with your speaking, writing, reading, listening, and all of those things. Now, I'm not saying that you need to practice for hours and hours a day. I honestly do not recommend that. I always tell my students to not try to actively study for more than two hours a day, unless you're preparing for an English exam, but that's a different situation. If you force yourself to study for more than two hours a day every day of the week, you're going to get burnt out and you'll end up resenting and hating English. So then you'll stop studying altogether. And then all that progress will be lost. So yes, you should be doing some kind of studying each day, but don't burn yourself out. You can use the 5x5 five five vocabulary study guide and practice your vocabulary for 15 minutes a day, five times a week. That's going to be beneficial. You can use the My 365 Day Writing Practice every day, about 10 minutes a day. That's not too long, but it's going to make an impact. You can schedule a few lessons a week with an English teacher. That's going to greatly help your pronunciation and speaking fluency, okay? There are so many ways that you can practice your English effectively without getting burnt out because long-term studying is how you will truly reach that goal of English fluency and proficiency. And if you only have about an hour a day to dedicate to English and you don't know how to best optimize that time, definitely check out my study session series where in each 40 minute to one hour video, we fit in all areas of English, including speaking, writing, reading, listening, grammar, and vocabulary. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to go check out those videos. And I just want to wrap this up by saying you're doing a great job with your English practice. If you're watching this video, that means that you want to become fluent and that you are working really hard. So maybe it's just time to switch up your study method. It's time to work smarter, not harder. So good luck studying and I'll see you next time. Why are you dropping it over there? That's on the other side of my office. I'm not, I can't get that. <laughs>